American life is now. Yes, we have problems, we have big problems, but it is, a, it is a mistake to lose sight of how much has gone well in recent decades. In fact, losing sight of how much has gone well makes it harder to solve the big problem that we have. We've made major gains in treating heart disease. We've made some of the first gains in treating cancer. The war on cancer seemed just to be failing for a long time. Try visiting a hospital department where they treat childhood leukemia and think about whether life is better now than it used to be. The kids you will meet there, many of them would not have lived to see their 18th birthday several decades ago. Many of them will now live full lives. After centuries of barely rising at all, we have had, at the end of the great boom of living standards of the last four or 500 years, an additional 50% increase in lifespans. I've emphasized health. It's not the only thing, though. Think about other ways that life has improved. In 1980, 42% of the world had to find a way to live on the equivalent of $1 a day. 42% of the world. Today, after doing the inflation adjustments that you should do, 14% of the world has to find a way to live on a dollar a day. And even in the Western world, there are ways as economic inequality has boomed that we are more equal than we used to be. Was life more equal in the 1950s and 60s for women than it is today? I think that's a pretty hard argument to make, given the terrible sexism of the 1950s and 60s. Was it more equal for Catholics, for Mormons, for Jews? I think that's also a pretty hard argument to make. Think about how much it easier it is to stay in touch with your friends and your relatives than it used to be. When immigrants moved here decades ago, they said goodbye to home. They could not afford to go home, and they could not afford to talk to people at home. That is no longer the case. Think about how much easier it is to talk to people day to day. I want to reiterate that the reason it's important not to dismiss all this progress and just focus on the negative is that it's impossible to solve major problems if you think you won't solve them and you think you can't solve them. And we should have every reason to think that we can solve the big problems that we have today.